Lesson 2-6 is slope. Slope is read from left to right. So if you see a line that's going up to the right, it is a positive slope. A line that is going down to the right is a negative slope. A line that is horizontal has zero slope. It has, uh, it doesn't go up or down. It has zero slope. And then a line that is vertical, straight up and down, is called undefined slope. So you have four different ways that we can describe slope. Now we're going to actually find slope, both on a graph and later using two points. Okay, so slope is called m, which is also um, found by using rise over run, especially in a graph. We can also call this rate of change. So if you see the phrase rate of change, it is just another phrase meaning slope. And also, you've seen this briefly in seventh grade, but we can find slope between two points by using a formula. Slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that's the change in your y values, divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1, that's the change in your x values. Sometimes you see this written as delta y, which is the change of your y's, over delta x, which is the change of your x's. We're going to find slope on a graph. Remember doing this in seventh grade? We're just going to use rise over run. So we have that slope m is equal to rise over run. So we need to pick two points. I'm going to pick this point and this point. And we're going to see, um, maybe start from the lowest point and see how far up we go. We go up two units. So the rise is 2, and then we see how far left we go to reach the other point. Oops, we go left 4 units, you can just count them. So negative 4, because left is going negative on the x-axis, and that was the run. And then we just reduce that fraction. Positive 2 over negative 4 reduces to negative 1 half. Also notice that the line is going down to the right, which should indicate a negative slope, and we got a negative value for our slope, so um, our direction is correct. For example two, we're going to find slope between two points. Problem A, we have the ordered pairs 2, 6, and 20, 18. So we're going to write our slope formula that we talked about at the beginning of this lesson. Skip a line or so so that you have some space to write below the ordered pairs. So skip down and we've got that slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And that is our slope formula. What that says is that slope is equal to the change in your y's also called rise, over the change in your x's, also called run. So you may wonder where x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2 comes from. We take this first ordered pair and we say, well, that's ordered pair number 1, and we're just choosing to call it number 1. And that's x and y. It's the first ordered pair, so I'm placing an x sub 1 y sub 1. We call it sub because that is subscript. It goes down to the bottom right corner of your variables. Then our second ordered pair here, we're calling it our second point. So we've got x sub 2, y sub 2. Now that we've labeled them, we've got an or, a two ordered pairs, each labeled x, y, we plug those values in. y sub 2 is 18. 
write your minus from your formula. Y sub 1 is 6 over x sub 2 is 20. Write your minus from your formula. x sub 1 is 2. Let me just simplify this. 18 minus 6 is 12. 20 minus 2 is 18. And eight, uh, 12 over 18 will reduce. They'll both divide by 6 to get 2 thirds. So slope is 2 thirds. And we have found the slope between those two points. B part, negative 3, 7, and negative 1, 4. Notice that once again, we're going to skip a line or so and write our slope formula. M equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And we're going to label our ordered pairs. This first ordered pair, negative 3, 7, we can call it x then y, which is how we always uh, name our ordered pairs is x then y. And since this is our first point, we name it x sub 1, y sub 1. For our second ordered pair, negative 1, 4, we always label ordered pairs x then y. And since this is our second ordered pair, we'll name it x sub 2, y sub 2. And now we're ready to just plug into our formula. y sub 2 is 4. Make sure you use the minus from your formula. And then y sub 1 is 7. x sub 2 is negative 1. Use the minus from your formula. Then x sub 1 is negative 3. Be careful here. A very, very common error is for students to only write one negative sign. Instead of writing minus a negative, they might say just minus 3. And that is not correct, so be very careful. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is like saying negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. And so our slope is negative 3 halves. It won't reduce any further. We'll leave it, in it as an improper fraction, and we're finished.